Lotus is like a high school wrestler because they just keep dropping weight. The Genesis brand will get a bunch of models, some you like, some you may not. And Porsche Cayman and Boxster, or the Porsche Cayman and Boxster, get themselves a new name. Plus, a Toronto taxi driver is all butthurt about Uber. And it's Friday, my friends, so you know I came to bring the pain hardcore from the brain with some rapid fire news. <laughs> Daffy Duck's here, or is yeah, that Donald that's Duck? Exactly what I saw. Whoa, in the studio? He sounds sick, though. Got some phlegm there. Yeah. All right, good to have you. Tell, uh, tell Goofy I said what's up. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and this is Fast Lane Daily. And if you thought it wasn't, well, you are sorely mistaken. <laughs> All right, we did guess the car earlier this week, and it was a good one. We scoured the YouTube comments, Facebook comments, tweets, and there were many guesses ranging from cars to trucks, Chevys to BMWs, Jaguars to Kias. But the car actually is, drum roll please, a Range Rover Sport SVR. That's right. There it is. That's actually a picture that Tom took. Now, a lot of you are about to be all trolly on me and be like, oh, Derek, I said Range Rover Sport. Yeah, you did. But you didn't say Range Rover Sport SVR. So, the winner is, and it was a difference of just two hours, FOD fan Christopher Kopeck. Yeah, he posted a pic of the car and said, got it. Oh, that you did, my friend. Well done. Runner up was Alp Deris. Yeah, 16 hours first 18 hours. So, yeah. Great. Christopher won. Good job, man. We'll have another one for you uh, next week, I think. All right. The next generation Boxster and Cayman are coming next year, and guess what? They're getting a new name. That name is 718. 718 Porsche. Eh, that doesn't really work. Uh, why a number name? Well, in 1957, Porsche launched the 718 race car with a mid-mounted four-cylinder engine. So with that in mind, Porsche just confirmed that the new models will feature a four-cylinder engine. Now relax, okay, let's not get crazy. They'll still be powerful. And the cars will officially be called the 718 Boxster and the 718 Cayman. So those names aren't going away. The two models will share a lot of similarities, uh, both visually and mechanically. Porsche confirmed that the 718 Boxster will have a higher price tag than the 718 Cayman. Some of what we heard suggests a two liter flat four that will produce 240 horsepower in the base cars and 300 horsepower in the S model. Uh, in other news, this Boxster and Cayman were like, wait, what? Those are my names. Cayman's like an alligator, right? Uh, a disgruntled Toronto taxi driver at an anti-Uber protest. Really? They are, uh, they're having anti-Uber protests? Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it looks that way because taxi drivers in Toronto are pissed at Uber and decided to stage a protest at City Hall. This guy decided to beat on the window of a car he thought was an Uber X driver. During a TV interview, the guy was banging on the window of the car and attempted to open the door. He then brilliantly decided to hang off the side of the poor Civic as it tried to drive away, proving that yes, machine is still stronger than man and that the guy driving that Civic was terrified. This kind of thing is uh, nothing new, as taxi drivers around the world have been losing their minds over Uber, letting random people steal all their business. I mean, hey, I mean, I get why they're pissed, I see the reason, but it is what it is. Become an Uber driver if you're pissed. Can't beat them, join them, isn't that what they say, okay? I've used Uber, of course, a bunch of times. I use taxis too. I just see who's cheaper and I go with that. Remember, on Uber, always check that fair estimate. You gotta. Anyway, I guess you could say this guy ended up getting a free Uber ride. <laughs> that right, Omar? Oh, yeah. oh, he did. Yeah, not the kind he likes. As we said in yesterday's episode, Hyundai's new Genesis brand launched their first car, the Genesis G90, which is the replacement for the old Hyundai Equus. Well, they've also let some news out about future Genesis's as well. Apparently, Genesis will have six model lineups by 2020. But what can those models be? AK, take a guess. 
You got one? No, Derek D, I'm not gonna. Why not? Because I wasn't listening. What are you talking about? I just... We went over it earlier. Wait, say it again, ask me again. What do you think these cars will be? The new Genesis, a bunch of them. Oh, crossover. There it is, that's right. Can we see crossover, survey says? Yes, there it is. Come on, you knew that answer. Yeah, okay. I just... We'll definitely see a small crossover and a larger crossover, uh, that's a given. But we'll also get a luxury sports coupe, a super luxury sedan, and a mid-sized luxury sedan that will compete with the likes of uh, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class and BMW 5 Series. So I tell you, you better watch out, luxury car brands. Genesis, and I'm not talking Phil Collins, is coming for you, and it's coming hard. <laughs> uh, that just sounded weird. <laughs> when, when, talking, when talking about their competition, they were like, you know, it's always the same, it's just a shame. That's all. <laughs> Let's talk about Lotus. I feel like we haven't in a while, so here we go. They're always looking to cut weight out of their models, like the Elise and Exige, and they are pretty light already. Well, they somehow found a way to drop 112 pounds out of the Exige, and the result is the new Sport 350 you see right here. And let me say, I'd rock that to the quick, like <laughs> quick. The 3.5 liter supercharged V6 carries over with the same 345 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of that. Torque. I feel like you haven't said that in a while. It's been a few episodes. A few days. Yeah. But now with less weight to move, it can speed dial 60 from a standstill in just 3.7 seconds and tops out at 170 miles per hour. And you can get a six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic. And deliveries begin in February across Europe before it reaches markets overseas in March. Overseas, I mean in like here. You know what I'm talking about? There it is. AK, it's about that time. Oh, there's some rapid fire news. <laughs> is, uh, oh, is, is, is a Cayman eating Donald Duck now? Oh, we can't let like alligator, no, you're dead. He's dead. 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 Sucks. He's not gonna hear rapid fire news now. Erica, are you ready? Yep. Here we go. Aston Martin may be starting to build the all-new DBX right here in the U.S. where they can be cashing checks, making the automotive equivalent of sex, eh now? Look, Ma, no hands. That's the plan because in the University of China, you can drive a car with your brain. That's some serious mind control to maintain without hitting a pole or a pothole on your way to get some delicious egg rolls. The McLaren P1 is built and done, made 370, 375 of them. That's a good run. Here's the first in ice silver and the last in pearlescent orange. Trying to rhyme with pearlescent orange is harder than medieval body armor. Bosch Wiper Blades, it's a funny video. They made a song called Don't Be a Killer Car. Gotta admit, it's a little bizarre, but kind of catchy when a dead skunk and rabbit start rapping with rhymes that be snapping like, it was a soccer mom who conquered me, a carpool killer in an SUV. You wanna watch the whole thing? And my prescription to you is to click the link in the description, and that's it for me and, and my crew in this edition of Rapid Fire News. <laughs> yeah, I get it. He's dead, and I'm, I'm, that wasn't my best. No, you did a nice job today. Yeah, it was all right. I could have done better. You saved it. Mm -hmm. I saved it. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, you guys, uh, really, if you want to watch that video, it's funny. The link's in the description. Roadkill is like a dead deer, a dead skunk, a rabbit, a fox, and it's kind of catchy. So uh, go check it out, especially the rap. I dig the rap. All right, our FLD question of the day is, what do you guys prefer? A professional taxi driver? I use the word professional loosely there. Yeah, it's really not. <laughs> or an Uber driver? I mean, I've had some shady taxi drivers in the past, um, but I mostly have had good ones. You know, uh, where, where I live, we have some good ones. Uh, but Uber, I use Uber all the time. So, and I've never had a bad experience yet. So, Uber's more convenient, I think. You know, right on your phone, bada bing, bada boom, Uber to come to your house. You know, there you go. Hashtag FLDQ of the D, let us know. And you send your own in too. Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you, AK. And that's gonna do it for Fast Lane Daily today and this week. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. And just let me remind you again, I'm going to be in a production of A Christmas Carol in Asbury Park, New Jersey, at House of Independence, December 17th through 20th. If you're in, New, if you're in the New Jersey area and want to see me and a great show and a great cast, head to houseofindependence.com for tickets. You want a little taste, AK? Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. Come then. What right have you to be gloomy? What reason do you have to be unhappy? You're rich enough. There you go. Makes me want to go down there and see it. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs> Omar was Snapchatting me 
rapid fire news and he rapid fired the rapid fire news. So here it is. Sorry. <laughs>